To understand the use of our WDMX dongle, we need to know how wireless works. Wireless transmission is like a highway with 13 lanes, where most traffic happens on channels 1, 6, and 11, leaving plenty of room for operating a wireless DMX system. This condition is specific to Wi-Fi traffic. For transmitting normal internet over wireless, this is because these channels do not overlap, like having lanes with no traffic. WDMX uses a patented feature called Adaptive Frequency Hopping. This technology is similar to trying to overtake in traffic. We analyze all possible congestion, avoid getting interfered by other wireless devices, or stuck in traffic. Our coexistence dongle is the perfect device to when we need to route our traffic to a specific channel in the spectrum. By default, our transmitters send data on all 13 channels in the spectrum. By routing all the traffic to a specific channel, you will stop interfering with other devices and avoid getting interference from any other wireless transmitter. We call this process channel masking. This can be done with the WDMX configurator. Just connect the dongle to a PC and the DMX output to any WDMX device. In the configurator, you will see 13 channels vertically. These are the Wi-Fi channels. Each square in the configurator represents a WDMX channel, each 1 MHz wide. Because the most common Wi-Fi protocols are 22 MHz wide, you will see 22 WDMX channels per Wi-Fi channel. Because Wi-Fi channels overlap, if, for example, you block out Wi-Fi channel number one, you will take out a lump of WDMX channels up to a portion of channel five. It's always advisable to find out what are the channels used by the local Wi-Fi devices. If you can't get to this information, you should use an RF spectrum analyzer so you can accurately read the frequency usage in your venue. In this example, we see what is normal traffic for a residential area, with most traffic on channel 1, and slightly less on channel 6 and 11. When we introduce a WDMX transmitter, the traffic increases significantly due to the adaptive frequency hopping technology. If we mask out all channels but 8 and 9, the spectrum will show a high utilization of those channels. On all other channels, it will show the same utilization as we have measured before, when the WDMX transmitter wasn't operating. You can get the configurator software from the download section of our website. If you find yourself in a very congested wireless space, it doesn't matter how fast your car goes. You will still get stuck in traffic. In situations like that, why not change your transmission to a higher frequency, like 5 GHz? With WDMX G5, we give you three separate frequency bands, so you don't ever get stuck in a congested wireless space. For more information about our technology, visit wirelessdmx.com.